So, uh, we have studied about the simplest letter. Right now, I want to create the uh, another separate file called seleda.html because I want to uh, keep the records that we have been studying and I will push into the kit as a note later you can reference uh, to study about the notes. So I will create the call find call selector. So S E L E C T O R dot HTML. So this will be the selector HTML. And I will keep all the note in the same file uh, using the command, right? So this is the command. Uh, we have studied about the simple selector we already done and the combine combinator selector. So we will study uh, in this uh, video uh, combinator selector. So combinator selectors are they are five. Uh, they are four combinator selector. We call descent letter and the chine letter and the adjacent uh, sibling letter and generous sibling letter, right? So that being said, let's study about the descent letter. I will write the uh, HTML here, HTML five. So it will generate a content for us. Don't worry about that, and we will start writing the here. So I will write p uh, paragraph and the we will call p a r a g r a p h. Paragraph one. So this is paragraph one. Uh, let me go and change the URL here. So for that we have to we have to define the uh, name as e l e c d o r dot h d m l. So it will work for that specific file, right? So and then I will type another uh, paragraph here. Let's say paragraph two. So after that I will write d i v d i uh, sorry, div. Inside that div, I will write another paragraph. So p a r a g i a p h paragraph two uh, three. So I just want to show you visually, right? So how the this letter will be working according to the uh, four different letter. So and then I will write another paragraph four inside the session. I will have session here, session tag, and the paragraph. This will be four and the paragraph five this will be paragraph five and the paragraph six so so we have different paragraph one two three four five six okay perfect so uh we have to write the css inside the hat this time also so i will give a name uh, i will i will start with the stein tag inside here so space using the this sentence letter what is mean space so let's say we will call that uh, div as this letter so i will write uh, div then i will write like this so right now we have uh, one paragraph and uh, one uh, th paragraph three and paragraph four inside the div so i would say p so by using the space between div and p we call this sentence letter so inside that I will say B A C K background color red. I uh, I give it background color red. So paragraph three and four is now changing to the red. So because uh, DIV is the parent of the P, that's why it's working no problem. The another paragraph are not affected because this DIV, uh, these paragraph are outside of that parent DIV, right? So we will study about the Chinese letter. Uh, we can write the Chinese letter using the uh, greater than key. So here, if I type greater than, so only the paragraph three is working now. Why? Because that paragraph four is not any more of this uh, DIV Chinese because its parent will be the selection again, right? So that makes sense. I hope uh, this is uh, that makes sense for you about the these two. Uh, descendant letter and chance letter right so that being said we will move to adjacent siblings letter we use with the plus sign so using the plus sign mean uh, let me show you if I uh, delete that and then I will write the plus so that being said now paragraph 3 and 4 did not uh, select that how it's happened paragraph 5 is selected why not paragraph 6 yes uh, as I mentioned uh, adjacent sibling letter is only selected, right? Only selected the tag after the specific selector you want. So let's say you want to select only the paragraph after the div tag. 
So we find the entry tag here. After the, the entry tag, we only see the paragraph 5. That's simple, right? So how about the general siblings letter? Uh, we can use the tight uh, symbol for that. So if I change here, uh, like time sample, so it will select all the paragraph after the div. So that being says, uh, using the uh, general sibling letter, which is will be you know scanning all the paragraph after that specific div slash letter, right? So if I write another paragraph here. Uh, it will be affected. But if I write another paragraph uh, with the div, let's say div, and then uh, this will be paragraph six, uh, seven, and the, this will be, oops, this will be eight. So let, let's look at, so all the paragraph is now working. Even the div is, you know, uh, separating. If I move that paragraph inside that div, no, it's not working anymore because uh, it's only trying to find the parent ID. So that P is not parent ID anymore, right? Uh, I mean parent tag anymore. Its parent is only the div. That's why uh, it doesn't find any P tag after that div. So it's not working, right? So I hope you will understand the CSS combinator. They are full combinator. And I will save that file in the GitHub. So later on, you may reference this uh, lesson note. Thank you, guys. See you in the next letter.